Hi, this is Julie Campbell for Studio Calico, here to share a technique on how to add color to your stamped images. I call this technique the stained glass effect, and it's a really fun and easy way to add color to your stamped images. The stamps that we'll be using are from the Pinball Card Kit add-on, and were designed by the company One Canoe 2. The first thing that I'm going to do is to create a mask. I know that I'm going to want to layer some of my floral images, so this is the easiest way to do that without having the lines intersect. So I just stamped it along the adhesive portion of the post-it, and I'm just trimming out the image along the lines. It takes a little bit of time to create a mask, but once you have one, you can keep it with your stamp set and use it for all future projects. So once I have that all trimmed out, I'm going to take an embossing buddy, which is basically a little bag that has some talc powder, and I'm taking it and rubbing it across a piece of vellum. So now I'm going to begin stamping. I'm starting with my sentiment because I want it to be the focal point of my card, and now I'm just taking some of the larger stamps and just kind of placing them in an eye-pleasing array around the um, the vellum cardstock. So now I'll just kind of bring in some of the smaller images. And now that I have everything stamped, I'm taking some clear embossing powder and placing that over the entire piece of vellum. The VersaFine um, ink that I was using, it works really well with the vellum, but the ink just doesn't dry all the way. So by using the clear embossing powder, it sets the ink and it also gives it a shiny raised look, which looks nice and elegant. So now I'm going back and I'm using that little mask that we created earlier and placing some additional stamps. If I would have placed the mask before we heat embossed initially, it would have pulled up some of that ink and it could have smeared the front of the vellum. So now we are just covering the area once again with some clear embossing powder and heat setting that in place. So now we are going to actually start adding the color to the project. So this is just some basic acrylic craft paint and I'm taking a small fine paintbrush and I've turned my vellum over so I'm working with the back side and I'm just adding bits of color inside all of the open areas of my stamp set. So I'm doing all of the darker blue to start with, and then once I have all of that finished, then I'll go back in with the lighter color of blue and just kind of fill in all that area. You don't have to be extremely careful. You can overlap the paints because, as you can see when we're finished, it will still look really nice and crisp from the front. So let me flip that over and show you what I'm talking about. So here we have it. So this is why I call it the stained glass effect. You have that nice raised image with the, it's kind of almost like a translucent color behind it. So now I've created a, just a plain frame using my silhouette software. It's made out of white cardstock and I'm applying some adhesive around all four sides. So now I'm placing my vellum onto the frame and I'm just doing that nice and carefully so that I make sure that this frame is flat and everything lays really nicely. So I want to make sure that the vellum really pops off the front of the card. I want the translucentness of the material to still show through. So in order to do, to do that, I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back of the frame. So I'll just place that about every half inch around the frame. So now that that part is complete, I'm going to place that onto my card front. And I've got some blue pattern paper that's from the same card kit as the stamps, and it coordinates really nicely. So for my initial card that I made for the July Gallery, I used some of the Color Theory Yes Peas green ink for the stems of the flowers. So you can actually use colored ink to do the same technique. Either way is fine. Just make sure you heat set um, whatever ink that you use, if it's a dye ink or a pigment ink, with some of the clear embossing powder just to make sure that it sets and it stays in place. So this is my finished project. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you give it a try yourself. For more information, visit studiocalico.com.